isn't really <laughs> this isn't really uh, useful here because you have already said that on the other page at the top. So this isn't gonna change my mind about if what I'm gonna press here if I'm gonna use GitLab. I know what GitLab is, or I wouldn't be starting a free trial, right? So yeah. It's the same. I think it's unnecessary to have this because you have it here and here. So yeah, basically the same. Now I'm confused. Why is there a start free trial here that leads to a different page than this? I don't know if it's going to start free trial, a trial hosted by some, by another server or again hosted on on premises. I don't know if this button is supposed is supposed to be this button or this button. It's just confusing, this button. Um, the One thing I'm wondering is how long is the free trail? There is no like uh, uh, duration. I think um, it's quite clear. This is if you want to have it offline. This is if you want to have it um, as a software service, you want to access it um, via a web browser. I guess there is only something missing, the prices. That's... Uh, am I going to need to put a, a credit card? With like the plans, there were no no transparency in prices, maybe in the FAQ. The fact that I don't know how long is the free trail for me, it's like a, a little bit of turn off. I'm like, uh, because it's, they usually put it uh, on those kind of page. So uh, they are hiding it for uh, some reason. Is it too Have it hosted or hosted on my own premises? What should, <laughs> I don't know what I should choose. Yeah kind of what I need to do, but I feel like the page itself is just, um, sorry, it's just a little bit odd in terms of layout, which leaves a lot to be desired and it feels a bit unfinished. And I would try and move a bit more above the fold or make it a bit more like enticing. Right now it just seems a bit blank and boring and not, isn't really pulling me into you know, continuing to more in terms of so this sort of thing, I'd be expecting more of like a table that tells me the benefits of either using this one or this one. And then also I understand that one of them self managed, one of them's hosted by a different company, but it would be inter it would be nice to have a grid that like basically explains the difference between the two and then also like a grid at the end that explains all the benefits you get to paying for. One I think it will take me also to the same registration. Ah, no, probably this will take me to a page where I will have to download GitLab, maybe and put it like that. Maybe like the first page, I would put them horizontally instead of having them here. It's, um, yeah, maybe yeah, an image, an image for the features would be more uh, would be more relevant to to what you are trying to explain here. Contact yourself would give me a phone number if I wanted to talk to them, not just be a like just a comment box where I then get an email back. Like even if it was a live chat, it better. I don't like that. I don't like systems where the only way to contact them is through one of those forms, and then you're just stuck waiting for a response. I like to have a call somebody or chat with somebody on a text chat, for example. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Trust more. Not sure we will host while you explore. Yeah, again, this maybe this should be at the bottom and this at the top in case somebody doesn't know what to try. More persistence of the brand or, or the website structure across all of the web journey as opposed to kind of, I feel like I'm getting a different experience and it feels less finished, I think, as I go through the journey and that I guess that doesn't make me feel very reassured as a consumer.